Hey there, Nick Wilde here, and welcome to Titanic Week. So this is Titanic Project 401, and at first I thought this was actually a uh, update of Titanic Honor and Glory, but as it turns out it's a complete separate project, although developed by the same team, and we can actually run it now because since Shiro got a new PC, I think last year, it can run this game. But uh, let's see this. Seems like half of the ship is done. And. Well. Yeah, they are separate projects, as you can see here. Oh, he's interesting. Yeah, they are two separate projects. I see. Let's set the graphic settings to... Yeah, they're good. Uh, let's go. Um, Shall we enter by the... It's in first class. Um... Let's just look, explore the deck, why not? Let's go to the promenade. And wow, this game looks incredible so far. This is beautiful, like, really. So glad we can play it now. I mean, we were stuck on demo 3 of Honor and Glory, but... Oh, we're here. Oh yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> Look at that ocean, dude. It's just incredible. Absolutely stunning. I'm impressed. Um, okay, so there's 50% of the ship done here, apparently. And I'm going to divide this video in parts. Because, you know, it's just like 50% of the ship, if I just do this into one video, it's gonna take like... I don't know, maybe even more than two hours, who knows? But this is incredible. Can we climb this? No, we can't. The ocean here is absolutely beautiful. I am impressed, really am. Can we climb in here? Appears not. Veranda and Palm Court. Let's take a stroll through the promenade here. It all looks very nice. Really does. I'm not sure what kind of time will she ever release this video, it's... Well, I'm not sure if it's going to release it now or on April 14. Depends on him, but let's see. Maybe he'll extend Titanic Week a few more. I know days, like starting earlier. There's a lot of deck chairs here. Wow. And this area is enclosed. Really, really nice. They did even, they did even the rabbits here. Look at this. It's cool. We need the first class. So definitely explore the forecast though. Now the bow. Oh, by the way, we can run if we just press shift. And we can crouch too. This is really nice. Okay, this is the window. Oh, there's a corridor there. Not really cool. Um, maybe we can access it. Who knows? Uh, there's a forecastle.
Um, this one's probably similar to the other side. Let's just take a quick round through here. The ship is messed out. There's something right here. Notice to secure the comfort of the passengers while they are asleep. The company respectfully urges that early morning strollers will not pass forward of this line. Oh yeah, I hope this is not early morning because there's a room here we haven't seen on the Titanic on and Glory demo I played last year. It's some kind of reading room. Alright, I'm going sorry, you know, like the professional regarding Titanic in theory or surely it's better at that, but I know some of them. Yeah, that, that's a lounge. Yes, I know that. That's the... Oh, there's a stair that leads up to the boat deck. But I'm going to take a look here to see. Oh yeah, here is the... Oh, this is a little... I don't know. Oh yeah, that's the... After my staircase, and I believe just as a smoking room, and I have a cafe sort of thing here. Um, cafe palm court, veranda palm court. All right, okay, let's. I don't know the signs around here, I'm not sure, but let's take a stroll up the boat deck. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's some that's a B roof game. Engineers promenade. A funnels. Look on the deck chairs. Look at this ocean. It's just like beautiful. I can't wait to see how this game will look like when it's finished. Uh this is remind you guys again this is not honor and glory. I thought it was initially, but they are actually separate projects, so we read there on the title screen. The start screen. Ooh. I think there's something we can read in here on us. Can we climb? I'm not sure if we can climb on the stairs. I'm not really sure. That's the first last entrance. We've got some machinery here. David Sound. Makers Belfast. Sirocco Mark. Oh, it's a fan. Very big, surely, see. I think this is a fan of some sort that pulls out inside the ship. Right on top of the lounge. to pop a little to the area we were before but I'm going to take a look at the bridge because why not and then we are going to explore the interior now remind you guys this ship is massive like half of the ship top oh yeah loading screen yay There's a door open here. Okay, we we can't go down here. It's blocked. Apparently. Oh, here's a bridge. We got this telegraph thing, which you you know you control the ship speed with that, make it go either forward or back. Had a stern, something like that. A stern or head, yeah. Really cool stuff. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, here's a ship to a guy drive the Titanic. <laughs> oh, that will be cool. Just drive a ship through this open sea. What is this? 
So I'm creating your notes. Seems to be just decorative. I don't think we can move the wheel nor anything like that. This are probably like the other ones there. And we got this here. We got some sort of helm indicator. Yeah. Put the position where the ship's helm is. The wheel. Yeah. Okay, yeah, here's the bridge. So remember in the movie where uh, the captain locked himself inside here and eventually after some time the windows broke and he died. Yeah, this is the room. Oh my gosh, what's that? Oh, bad. oh it's an iceberg. Iceberg, right on that. Uh, okay, whatever. No, it's jokes. Um, oh, we got a... What is that? What's written there? I can't read much of this. Okay. Um, is that telephones? I know it. This is what is this? Ray? Ray? Or is it is a corpse? My earful we got really big. Was there a what did that door indicator somewhere in here or not? Oh yeah, here's a map that shows us all the areas we can explore. I don't see the what did I do in the kid at all. Seeing the movie one they actually show which what did that door so closed. There was a button here that closed down, or whatever it's called. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's a boat deck corridor. Might be able to find some crew areas here because that's where the crew stayed. Oh, yeah, here's a way out of the boat deck. Um, and here's the wireless room. This is where, during the sink in the wireless operators, um, Jack Phillips and her bride contacted the Carpathia and other ships. They sent the distress calls. That's how they managed to contact the Carpathia. And of course, other ships, even Titanic's sister ship Olympic was actually contacted by Titanic. But God Beta was the closest. I suppose this is where the wireless operator slept at the cabin. Resting. Oh this you see this little um yellow gold sort of gold pipes there. Um these are pneumatic tubes pneumatic tubes that went all the way to the purser's office that way they could send them they could receive the you know is to contain the things that were meant to be sent to via the wireless and well I suppose this is some sort of electric room with a power for the wireless room was generated, I guess. A little short. Wireless well, instrument adjustments made by the directing engineer. Here it turns his children, I said. There's a lot of stuff there. How much my area, to be honest? Yeah, I know, I'm not sure if I got up or something like this. Really? Okay, we just saw the wireless room. Oh yeah, we're going all the way back from where we came from. Or oh, Swiss accommodations. Oh, 
I could try seeing this and I sure. I want to explore the Grand Circus in the, you know, the first class main areas. On other parts, this will be mostly focused on the boat deck and a promenade on a deck. Which is exactly that one <laughs> within the loading screen right now. Really stunning project. Congratulations to the team who did it. This there's a gym right here. We're gonna explore this in the latter part. You know, later on the second part of the Titanic on Glory. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, how in Glory, what am I saying? Makes in a project, this is Project 401. Can get in here? No, we cannot. Well, how about here? What? What is this? It's a room full of towels and... I know, bags. Something that looks like, I don't know what it's that, but who cares. Uh, we can see the lifeboats here and... Titanic actually had more lifeboats in the regulation. Recommend that, you know. Um, the regulations for lifeboats back then... I think it was made when ships had 10,000... Uh, 10,000 gross or tons. Demanded... I don't know if I remember, but Titanic had more lifeboats than the... Naval regulations of the time were required, which means that still... It was not enough for all passengers. This is the second class... Areas... Staircase, I think. Yeah, it is definitely staircase. Ah, yeah, we can go in there. That's cool. Let's just a simple staircase to head down to the... Why is this? We on B deck. Oh. Let's explore this, yeah. Why not? We're on the second place promenade. But I'm gonna explore this room here now because why not? Nice tiles. <laughs> looks a little Minecraft today. <laughs> really looks like it was been a Minecraft. That's interesting. Minecraft ready. Oh, you see these things on the ground that you've been asked what they are for. It's a little growth. Beautiful room too, that second class. Oh, I'm not sure. I've got one of mine going second class, to be honest. Looks good. This is a smoking room. There's a bar somewhere in here, I think. I'll wait since now. Yeah, here. <laughs> but it's not accessible. Um, okay. Let's go. Let's continue exploring the promenades here. I think we can go down to the stern. There is another staircase here. As you can see, second glass also had two staircases. Aft well deck, yeah, that's where we're going. Oh, that looks like a bed. Lavatory some sorts. Where really is one. Alright, welcome to the well deck. I haven't explored the bow yet. I'm gonna keep it for later. There's this door here, I'm not sure where it leads to. We got... Whoa! Game free! We got this... Room right here, um... Yeah. Close permanent. 
I have my glyphs from Naruto. I explored. Oh my god. I'm gonna explore this area first. Well. You know, operational aspects. Hmm. This is some capstans. I know what that is. It's a capstan. That's the area where the movie on. Um... Is that a missing texture? No, it's not. That's the area where in the movie Rose was, you know, not mentioning it here. But I'm not sure if YouTube lost that, but where Rose was looking to the propellers and almost fell. And that's also where the passengers went to the last moments of the ship. Because I'm not gonna jump down here. Heck no. I'm not crazy. Oh, that's a vent. Now let's go downstairs. To the last port of our tour. This is the second class in Glass Promenade. Of course, I see the staircase of the second bus here. Here, right here. Oh, they were actually showing this area, I think, on the loading screen. And we got another second class area here, too, which we didn't open to explore in this part. In the next one, perhaps. Okay, what is this? It's a porthole here, not sure what this is, but it looks like a something you will connect the holes to. There's something right in there, and they're not. No, these passengers are no allowed beyond this. and I'm all out beyond this point. Yes. Yeah, here's another fan. Portals. Um, here's the second glass staircase, which we're exploring later. There's an elevator here. Not sure if we can use it now, but second glass elevator is still really nice. Here's another map of the ship, we are on sea deck, and I'm going to end this part. Just to do something right in here. Second class passengers are not allowed to bath this. Which means probably if you're on second class, you're not allowed to go back there, because that's a third class area. It's not like in the movie where you could simply go there and do the guys and see all the protocols passenger to be real titanic. There was no chance of that happening at all. Oh, I'm stuck. No, not stuck anymore. Yay. Alright. Well, I'm ending this part here right now. Thank you for watching. And keep tuned because there's going to be part two.